Come on, man. We're getting the wrong half of the matchups. If he's Big Priest, then we never win. But... Maybe he won't be. None will survive. Murloc Mage is a top 100 deck right now. A lot of players are in their top 100, top 10 with Murloc deck. It's just, um, you have to hit the right matchups. If you verse rogues, you lose. If you verse not rogues, you probably win. But it's a good deck because more often than not, you're first thing not rogue. <laughs> it's just a bummer if you do hit the rogues because it's so bad at getting back on the board. It's, it's lost the board and rogue's so good at keeping you off the board. Mind if I roll need? So he's Mechathun Priest. Our deck does not beat Mechathun Priest. We'd have to pressure him down before turn 10 of the game as Control Warrior. So this seems like it's going to be another auto loss. I'm going to try my best to pressure him. We got a 3-3. We need to get, yeah, Stonehill into Lich King into Death Grip. That's a good plan. If we can get that, we can win. Or as Alina, some Psychic Screams and then Psychic Scream things in his deck, I guess. That are hard to play. But still. Lich King. Yeah, we got a curve. So we gotta find the other Stonehill and get Lich King, or we have to Psychic Scream Dire Horns in his deck. That's pretty good. So we'd have to draw as Alina takes Psychic Screams, play Dire Horn Hatchling, then Psychic Scream it into his deck to slow him down. Goose Clement subscribed for seven months in a row. Welcome back to my cave team. Thank you. Appreciate the TV support. Well, glad to have you here. Seven months of support. Bongo Curry just subscribed. Welcome back to my cave team. Thank you, man. Appreciate the support. Another Maple used 10 bits and says, How many rags do you think we're going to see off that Mage Loa when the Rumble drops? I think we'll see a lot. I think we'll definitely see a lot of it. Everyone's hyped about it, so people are going to be trying it, so we'll see some of it. Will it be good? Now that's a whole other question. We're definitely going to see it, though, because people are just excited about the idea of it. Silencing card draw seems good. Gobi X just resubscribed for 26 months in a row. Over two years of support. Welcome back to the Backcave Team thing, man. Glad to still have you here for so long. You're not sick of me yet, huh? Feels good, man. It doesn't want me to have an Acolyte. Dr. Boom can pressure him. More so than a 3-4 or a 3-2. No, the most defensive one. <laughs> we nailed it. Super Collider does three face damage. He hasn't drawn Hemet yet, so that's really good for us. If he played Hemet already, I would have quit by now. But since he hasn't played Hemet, there's still a non zero percent chance that we win. Not much greater than zero, though. But it's possible. <laughs> We need to get Omega Assembly, man. That'll give us a bunch of minions we just kind of play. Let the pain speak to me. Minithropper just used 60 bits and says here's 60 cents to say that I'm also not sick of you either. Aw. Thanks, man. I'm not sick of you either. You seem like a nice guy. <laughs> Hmm. 
Stop giving me the armor, hero power. <laughs> Is someone injured? Mind if I roll need? Unity, precision. Got him kind of low, man. I'm just gonna scream us, and then we have no way to redevelop board. I missed one damage. Yeah, yeah. Could have super clad your face. What is a loon's will? He's gonna play 13 cards. That's the last screen. He's already played Shadow Vision's cards. Minions. Good enough. Go, go, go. No! <laughs> Why, Dr. Boom? Every other hero power has been armor. There's a hundred bits to give you a second chance at my name. Oh, thank you, man. I'm gonna try really hard. Mini Topper. Mini Topher? It's like a gopher that's miniature. Right? It's a mini gopher. With a T. Mini Trofer. Mini Topper. Minotopher. I don't know, man. All I do know is that I am dead. I am almost out I've of I've known cards. this for a while. I am out of cards. Hey, he's gonna take it. We did it. That's a win, man. May have lost the game, but we win the Minotopher. So, how many minions is the combo? He plays Coffin Crasher, and then he plays what? And then he plays Abomination. He, like it works when he has three minions in play, right? So I can't actually, I can't actually stop it. So like, I need him to have four minions in play. <laughs> Unlucky. Maybe we'll freak him out. Desperate times call for desperate measures. His last card is Silence, right? Maybe he doesn't run two silences, maybe he's got another minion in there. Oh yeah, he's got the hem in it, I forgot about that. So he can't actually complete the combo now. We did it. He doesn't have the board space. We just have to take this damage for the rest of the game. Is all he has left is the combo pieces. Now we want the armor up here, Hope Power. I lied, Dr. Boom. You were right all along. We needed more armor. <laughs> I wonder. I was talking shit about the armor, Hero Power, and that's what we needed the whole time. What is a loon's will? Somehow I think we're gonna die before him, though. He's hitting me for 12 a turn. And we can't play any minions. But it's worth a shot. Maybe we'll get a stealth minion. Or maybe he'll do something really dumb. Alright, I win. Cool. Because now he just plays it, and then I silence it, and then the game's over. Won an unwinnable matchup. It's easy. Just confused the hell out of him. Let's crash this party. I did not think I was going to win that one. All he had to do was just wait and hit me for 12 every turn. 
he hits me for 12 for 5 turns. It would have taken him 7 turns to fatigue out. He hit me for 12 for 7 turns. 